The Super Guppy wasn't the only aircraft to load up through its nose. Enter the Antonov 225, the colossus of cargo planes. Here I am, airside at Cologne Airport, and that is the Antonov 225, the biggest plane in the world. The only Antonov 225. How cool is that? Rather like the Super Guppy in America, this monster aircraft was designed to help with a space program. Except this one was built to carry the Soviet space shuttle on its back. These days, though, it flies civilian missions. In this container is production line equipment for making computer screens. It's heavy, it's got to reach its destination fast, and that's why it's going by air. In just a few hours, this vast cargo will be taking a 7,000-mile journey to Taiwan. The fuel bill alone will be over 80,000 pounds. To compare the Antonov size to the first airmail planes is like comparing a juggernaut to a shopping trolley. It's 84 meters long and over 18 meters high. But the real top trump fact is the Antonov's lifting power. It can carry 250 tons. That's over 10 times more than a Hercules, about 100 times more than a DC-3, and over 1,000 times more than an early biplane. It's the equivalent of about 20 London buses filled with passengers. The plane can carry so much because of these whopping wings. They span a massive 88.4 metres. That's wider than a football pitch. And to get the whole lot through the air, there are six of these gigantic jet engines, each the size of a transit van. They're more powerful than the engines on Concorde, and together they produce over 300,000 pounds of thrust. That's what you need to get all that weight into the air. When it comes down, it needs some serious landing gear. Yeah, a lot of wheels, 32 in total, four at the nose and seven double wheel sets on either side of the fuselage. A lot of rubber. Once inside the hold, the only thing that gives the game away are the curved walls. Otherwise, it's just a giant flying warehouse. It's over six metres wide, over four metres high, and at 43.3 metres long, it's longer than the Wright brothers' first flight! Loading is a massive operation, but if the cargo isn't positioned precisely, the plane won't be balanced in flight, making it a nightmare to control. So here I am in the cockpit of the aircraft. It's like being halfway up a tower block. Everything about it is immense. I'm sitting in the captain's seat. First officer sits over there. We have a navigator here. We have a radio operator as well and two flight engineers. You can really sense the Ukrainian origins of this aircraft. It's not fly-by-wire. It's all manual, analog, pretty old-fashioned. It's not exactly state-of-the-art. 12 hours after loading started, and the Antonov is almost ready to fly. This is it, the Antonov 225, the biggest plane in the world, 500 tonnes of it now, it's taxiing. One question remains, can it really get off the ground? That is massive.